Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. This week's tutorial comes to you courtesy of Jody, who had an awesome question I thought this week on how do you DIY bulk print business cards at home? And being a DIYer myself, of course I have done this before. I've actually DIYed every single business card I have ever made for myself personally. So I have a little bit of experience setting these up and of course, I just want to disclaim this is exactly how I would do and how I've done it in the past. Everyone's ways are different, but I want to show you and share with you today exactly how I do it. And make sure you watch until the end of this video because I've got a special surprise for all of you at the end. So all that said, we're gonna get started. I threw together this quick business card design in this watercolor texture that I'm using is part of my watercolor texture kit volume two, which I'll leave a link to if you wanna see the other textures that are part of that kit. But that's what I used right here to put this very quick business card together. And as you can see, we've got a front of the business card and we have a back of the business card. And I've also included a bleed and a bleed is extremely important if you have any artwork that quote unquote bleeds off of the actual artboard. So since this texture extends beyond the regular artboard, I need to make sure that my front and my back of the card has a bleed line. And the way that you apply this, I'll show you really quick. Um, so this is the standard size of a business card is three and a half inches by two inches here in the US. And in order to set this file up, I did file new. And all I did over here is I set my width to three and a half inches, my height to two inches, and then right here where it says bleed, this is where I put in 0.125 inches, and that is the standard for a bleed um, on a business card. And then if you toggle down this little advanced uh, arrow right here, just make sure your color mode is CMYK because you are printing it, and whenever you print anything, you wanna make sure your color mode is set to CMYK. So all that said, I hit okay, and then I had this artboard right here, and this red line is your bleed line. So bleeds are really important because when you're printing this out and you go to cut it yourself, you don't want any weird like stray white slivers of lines because no one can really cut a line so perfectly that you wouldn't even have like a little hairline of white right there. So you wanna make sure you give yourself a little breathing room when you're cutting so this is what this little bleed line allows the space right here this one eighth of an inch allows you um, a little room for error as you're cutting them so all right all that said we've got the front of our business card we have the back of our business card and now i'm going to show you how i set it up in illustrator to print in bulk at home just using my regular old home printer and because i'm using a home printer that means my paper size is eight and a half by 11 inches um, portrait so we're just going to come up here and go file new and we're gonna make sure um, right here, I've got it set to letter, which defaults to eight and a half by 11. I do not need a bleed on this because I don't have anything extending beyond the edges of this sheet of paper. And I wanna make sure once again, uh, if you toggle down this advanced arrow that it is CMYK and it's 300 PPI, which is the print resolution standard. And then you're gonna hit okay. All right, we just have a plain white sheet of paper right here and I need my ruler. So I'm gonna hit Command R, Control R on a PC. And once I do that, you can see I've got rulers right here. If you don't have inches showing up right here, all you have to do is right click on here and you can change your settings. So I've got inches, so I'm good to go. All right, so this is how I do it, which <laughs> some people may think um, is not the most mathematical way ever, but it totally works for me every single time, so I'm gonna share it with you. So I hit M on my keyboard, and this is my rectangle tool right here, and all I'm gonna do is double click, and I'm gonna put in three and a half inches by two inches. So we're gonna pretend like this is the size of my card. So I have a three and a half by two inch, and if I replicate this, I'm gonna hold Alt, and as I'm dragging, I'm holding Shift to keep it straight. And if you do a little bit of math, um, this length is three and a half inches, this length is three and a half inches, so that's seven inches. I have eight and a half inches uh, width of my paper, and I have space right here that I need, space between the cards, and then I have space on this edge that I need to account for. So I've got seven inches that make up the card, and I'm left over with one and a half inches. So if we do just some basic math, let me grab my calculator. All right, so we have one and a half inches and we have three areas that we need to account for between those two cards. So I'm gonna divide by three. And when you do that, it's half an inch. So if I come back into Illustrator, I know I need half an inch right here, half an inch right here, and half an inch right here. So if I come up here, 
I'm just gonna click on this left ruler right here, click and drag until I hit half an inch, and then release. And then if I just drag this business card over to that edge and I click and I drag again, this edge should land right at four. And then this needs to be another half inch apart. So that would put it at four and a half right here. And then if I drag this business card over, once again, I need this half an inch it brings me to the edge of the page. So this is perfect. So we've got our vertical spacing all set. So if I copy these, I'm just rubber band selecting both of them, holding Alt, clicking, dragging, holding Shift to keep them straight. And if I grab these again, you can see comfortably I can fit eight cards. This is called an eight up. Comfortably I can fit eight cards on this eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper. So now I have two inches right here, two inches right here, two here and two here. So that's eight inches. And the entire length of my paper is 11 inches. And I need to account for one, two, three, four, five spaces. So I'm gonna grab my calculator again. And I have, what did I say? 11 minus eight is three inches. And we have one, two, three, four, five spaces. So that's 0. 0.6, okay? So I'm gonna come back in here. And this is where it gets a little bit funky, but it's this is another little cheat of mine. So I'm gonna hit M on my keyboard, double click, and I need a height of 0. 0.6 inches. So I don't have to like figure out all the math every time. Half an inch was easy, but a six, six tenths of an inch is a little different. So I'm gonna flip flop these, get rid of my stroke. And now I just have this block that's the right height. So if I drag it to the top of my artboard right here, and then I can just click and drag, and this is where I need to set my first business card. So I'm gonna drag it to that line. You can see right here, so then I now I can just drag this right here. Do the same thing again. And then I can just drag this last guy to the bottom of this one. And now I can delete all these business cards. And now I kind of have a rough layout. So now I want to draw in my own trim marks because with the bleed, um, we need to make sure we have marks to trim so we know exactly where to cut the paper. So if I come up here, I'm just gonna hit like the backslash key on your keyboard and that activates your line tool over here. You just wanna make sure you have, I don't need to fill on this. You just wanna make sure you have a stroke and I usually keep it at the default one point so it's thick enough for me to see and don't even worry about it bleeding off the page. You just wanna make sure you come close to this line. Do not touch this line though, otherwise it'll print on your actual card. So I'm gonna hold Alt as I'm dragging. I'm gonna hold Shift to keep it straight. And I'm just gonna set these ones all the way here. And then I can also just select all of these. Click, hold Alt, hold Shift, drag these babies down here. And now those are set. And then I'm gonna come over here and do the exact same thing. All right, last thing we need to worry about is our bleed. And like we talked about before, we have an eighth of an inch. So we can do the math vertically um, and we're gonna use our little cheat for the um, horizontal areas. Just because the math will get really funky if we don't. Okay, so right here, I need to come back an eighth of an inch, which is half of a quarter of an inch. So that is right there. And this will just help me line up exactly where my card goes. Eighth of an inch, eighth of an inch. Okay, so now for this part, I'm just gonna use my little sheet. I'm hitting M on my keyboard, double clicking, and now this time I want my height to be an eighth of an inch. I'm gonna reverse that, drop it right here. Okay, 
So now we have all of our bleed lines in here and this is our template. So if I come over here to my layers palette, I'm gonna label this trim and guide lines. And I'm gonna lock this layer, create a new layer, and this is gonna be my artwork layer. And now we're gonna jump back over to our business card designs and we're gonna export each of these as a high res JPEG. So I'm gonna go file, export, and choose where you're gonna put it. I'm gonna choose JPEG down here, use artboards, definitely make sure this is checked and make sure all. So when we save a JPEG that has a bleed, the bleed will be included on that JPEG. So we're gonna export this. I'm gonna make sure my quality is all the way up to the maximum 10 and that my resolution is 300 and it's CMYK. So I'm gonna hit okay and that's saved. So now I'm gonna jump over here, make sure you're on your artwork layer and your trimming guidelines are locked. And I'm gonna get hit file place and choose the front of my card. And I'm just gonna drop this right in here. And since we dragged our guides, we know exactly where it needs to go. So I'm gonna hold alt, hold shift, drag, grab both of these. And this part's really fast, just dropping them in. Okay, so now you have an eight up that's perfectly mathematically correct. And if you want your backs um, to be created as well, make sure you unlock this, otherwise your trim marks aren't gonna carry over. So, and then you're gonna hit this little icon over here for your artboard tool. And as you're hovered over and you got the crosshairs on your artboard, you're gonna hold Alt, drag, hold Shift, and this is gonna make a copy. You're not gonna get those vertical lines in here because we, our guides were locked, um, but that's okay because we've already got our trim marks drawn. So now you can relock your trimming guidelines, come back to your artwork layer, and you're just going to select all of your cards. And then you're going to come over here to your links palette. And you can get to links by going window links. And you're just going to hit this little link button right here. And this will relink those. And you're just going to have to do this eight times, which is a little annoying, but it's pretty quick. Selecting the back of your card. Okay, so there we go. So when this prints out, you're gonna have your little trim marks. So you're gonna take your ruler and line it up with this mark and this mark, and then you're gonna make your cut. Same with down here. And then you're gonna lay your ruler across this top and the bottom, and you're gonna cut. So then um, definitely do a test run before you use your really good paper to make sure you're putting the paper in the right way because obviously once it spits this out, you wanna turn it around and flip it over the right way. So, um, you know, when you flip, your actual business card over. You don't have one side that's upside down and one side that's right side up. So just wanna make sure that you do that. So do a test run first, make sure you've got your method all figured out and then you can print this out as many times as you need to and you get eight business cards out of each sheet of paper that you have. So this is how I would bulk print DIY your own personal business cards. And if you stayed with me through this little more boring uh, but very, very important tutorial, my gift to you is I'm going to give you this Illustrator template to use for yourself. So if you go over to my blog, every-tuesday.com, I'll also leave a link here. Uh, you can go over there and you can download this and it will open with any version of Illustrator, CS3 or newer. So all of this work will have been done for you. So all you have to do is drop your business cards in if your business cards are sized three and a half inches by two inches tall. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new tutorial every single Tuesday and make sure to head over to my blog, every-tuesday.com for even more tutorials and a bunch of design freebies, including this freebie this week. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.